government of Karnataka is targeting a moonshot. Can they really achieve that? We will find out in this video. So recently, the government of Karnataka, which is which has been a pioneer in promoting biotech industry in our country, has come up with a new policy. And this is called as Karnataka Biotech Policy 2024-29. So it's a five-year policy. It was approved and announced and the state has uh, decided that they are going to promote the biotech industry in such a way that it becomes a $100 billion industry by 2030. Now that means a compounded annual growth rate of 19% per annum. Now that also means that if Karnataka ever achieves that by 2030, it will be bagging 33% of the entire country's bioeconomy. Well, we don't know yet if this can be achievable, but definitely the steps and policies in this direction seems to be. So let's look at what are the steps they are taking. So according to the Karnataka Biotech Policy and the Mr. Priyank Kharge, who is the uh, ITBT Minister in Government of Karnataka, he mentions and of course the policy mentions that even without any stimulus at its own growth rate, Karnataka will become a $70 billion economy, biotech economy in our country. And if they put in those the stimulus which they have talked about, it can get $200 billion. So what are these steps which they are talking about? You know, the steps are comprehensive, but first let us understand what exactly is the current state of bioeconomy in Karnataka. So Karnataka is the leading state with 20% share of the bioeconomy of India right now. And currently Karnataka's bioeconomy, it's actually divided into the biopharma sector, which is the front runner, and it is getting Karnataka $12.61 billion as of today. So out of the whatever revenue Karnataka is getting, $12.61 billion is coming only from the biopharma sector. And followed by that, we have bio-industrial sector, where uh, another $12.1 billion is coming. Followed by that is the bio-services sector, which is around $5.09 billion. And then followed by that is the bio-agri sector, which is a slightly smaller sector at $1.22 billion. Now, what Karnataka government is proposing is any biotech startup which is in Karnataka and if they are, if their maximum annual turnover is not above 1 crore, then their entire GST will be returned back. So whatever they earned, so obviously out of 1 crore, so 18 lakh rupees of GST, that will be returned back so that they can use it for the growth of their company. That's a good decision, but I believe it should have been at least 10 crore or 50 crore because there are many companies in the mid and small level which are planning to scale and they may need this kind of a stimulus. So it should actually it should have been at least 10 crores or 50 crores. Never mind. This is a good start. Now, followed by that, they have also mentioned that uh, fixed cost investments and patents will be waived off. So a patent uh, costs up to 2 lakhs for an Indian patent and 10 lakhs for an international patent will be reimbursed under this policy. Also, they will be providing some waivers and uh, micro, small and medium enterprise that is called as MSME will get an interest subsidy of 6% for loans up to 50 lakhs, not exceeding 8 years for new investments. So if you are a company which is starting a new investment in Karnataka, you will get easy loans at a 6% per annum low interest and 100% reimbursement on land conversion fees among other things. So far, it looks great on paper, but how it is implemented is something which, which only time can tell. What I personally believe is uh, the biotech sector in Karnataka, for that matter, other states also, needs a lot of hand-holding at this juncture, not just about uh, the stimulus packages, but also about the regulations, a friendly regulatory environment, uh, followed by uh, easy access to capital, whether it is venture capital, whether it is grants, or whether it is stimulus, which, uh, for example, tax waivers, or formation of SEZ units, special economic zones, where if the companies are setting up shops, for example, we have Bangalore Bio Innovation Center or CCAMS, more such small clusters if we have, then we will be able to get better output. Now, at this juncture, I personally know more than 500 biotech startups in Karnataka, 
which are at a level their revenue is in between 10 lakhs to 10 crores so that's the range 500 plus startups are there in this range and they are working on various uh, bio services as well as bio industrial economy side and they are struggling with scaling up and any kind of infrastructural boost if they get they can immediately get to 150 billion dollars also they will be able to bring more forex into uh, India and into Karnataka. So, this move by government of Karnataka definitely is a welcome change and I welcome this for all of you, for all of us. But at the same time, I think the government should uh, collaborate with organizations such as iBiome or ABLE or BIRAC to get more funding, more infrastructural support to these uh, companies so that they can grow and this will also boost the employability of our sector just to let you know there are more than 50 colleges just in in, in Bangalore and more than 10,000 students are passing from biotech background in Karnataka and these students are getting unemployed if we have this boost into the bio economy it will definitely help Karnataka people get employed within Karnataka itself. So, that's one side of the story. Moving ahead, I also welcome other states also to follow these kind of uh, policies and frame these kind of guidelines because ultimately, as a country, if we have to grow the biotech industry, then we all have to come together and uh, all states should take uh, biotech policy seriously because this is the future of our country, we saw when a pandemic hit, thanks to the vaccine companies which we had in India, such as Bharat Biotech, that we could indigenously produce vaccines. And we were not dependent on foreign companies who would have held us to ransom, right? So, the time has come that these small, medium, micro enterprises should get a boost and become bigger. They scale, it solves the employment problem. At the same time, it brings more revenue to the government as well as its people. So, I welcome this move, this policy, but I believe it has to be implemented with strong hand, strong arm, and definitely we will see $100 billion industry bioeconomy in Karnataka itself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video reaches the right people who can make these policies better for every state. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.